Okay, hello. This video is about how you can get a free Lexus. Okay, free Lexus car. How to get it free? You leverage the government to pay for your car payment. Okay. Right now, every day, if you're not in a self-employed kind of business, and if you don't have a business and you're not in an MLM, then you're losing out because, my friends. Check it out. Read any textbook, and they will tell you when you have a home-based business, you will gain benefits in the form of tax uh, tax deductions. And one of the thing is, <coughs> for Americans, every year, right, you be driving around between twelve thousand and fifteen thousand miles per year. That's on average, okay. But if you like me. I drove. I drove around last year, thirty thousand. In the last ten years, the same thing, thirty thousand uh, miles per year. In the last ten years, that's equal to three hundred thousand plus, right? My car is uh, three thousand, two thousand three. It's an Avalon, and right now I have three hundred forty-seven thousand two hundred fifty-nine miles. So almost three hundred fifty thousand miles, and most of these mileages are tax deductible because I have. A self-employed business that I do, and of course I tax deduct my mileage. You know, you don't have to tax deduct 100% of your mileage. You can tax deduct 80%. If you don't do that work a lot, then it's 60% or whatever amount. You be coming out ahead, and because let's just give an example. Uh, let's give an example. 12,000 miles, right? So do you know that 12,000 miles? Let's say. Only four thousand miles of those are tax uh, are personal miles. The rest are business miles. And I will teach you how to turn everything into a business mile. Okay, if you join under me. But let's say eight thousand out of twelve thousand miles per year, or let's say fifteen thousand miles per year, and ten of those, ten thousand of those are business miles. So you have ten thousand miles, and the tax uh, deduction for each miles is you gain. Or you can tax deduct fifty six cents per mile. Okay, so ten thousand miles of and fifty six cents is like you gain uh, fifty six hundred uh, dollar that the IRS cannot tax you. For example, if you let's let's say you work a uh, thirty thousand mile a thirty thousand dollar per year income at some job, so you can tax deduct five thousand six hundred dollar from that amount. Now the IRS can only tax you at twenty-four thousand four hundred dollar. Okay, so that decreases your your tax bracket quite a bit, and you become gaining ahead, right? Also, fifty-six hundred is an equivalent. Oh, whatever car you buy, probably a a payment around four hundred would be. Forty-eight hundred per year, right? And now this one is fifty-six hundred per year that you can tax deduct. That's mean like you're getting your your car for free, right? You leverage uh, the government to pay for your car, and of course, if you pay too much, then of course they pay you back in those uh, money amount, meaning you get a refund. So in fact, you you do get ca- uh, hard cash back, right? A check, and then you cash it and you enjoy life, okay? That's how it is, my friend. I have a car right now. It's three hundred forty-seven thousand miles on it, and I have gained in the last ten years more than hundred fifty thousand miles. Hundred fifty thousand mile dollar in tax deduction. Man, I'm, I'm mixing up the miles and, and the dollars. So, for my car, I have used my car to the gain of hundred fifty thousand dollar in the last ten years. Okay. Do do the same. There's no, there's no stopping you, right? Except fear. And guess what? Fears. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real. So whatever it is, you can't chew it up. You cause the fear. Most people feel, oh, the IRS is gonna audit me. So what? If they audit you, the worst they can do is, hey, this deduction is not allowed. These deductions are illegal or wrong. Then you pay a fine. They're not gonna send you to prison. You know, you do it with the uh, Quicken software or even some IRS uh, certified uh, tax preparer, and you say, "Hey, I didn't do it. The uh, the IRS enrolled agent, uh, certified accountant did it, so it's not your fault." But if he's not doing it 
then you need to do it too. In the end, you are responsible for your tax filing, but the worst that can happen is they find you. But if they don't, then you gain the advantage of driving cars for free and getting gas for free compared to your friends, right? Let your friends and other people pay full price for their car. You get supplemented uh, by the IRS to pay for your car, right? That is way one cool way to uh, live life, my friends, living large. Drive a more expensive car than you can afford and then have the government pay for it, okay? Thank you for uh, very much for watching. You can reach me at farmallen at gmail.com or you can text me at my cell number 956-949-9137. Thank you. Bye.